Good day everyone. I am Miss Elizabeth Elis M. Eranjo, or simply Miss Elis. The course that I'll be discussing to you on this video, as well as on the following videos, is statistics and probability. If you have any clarifications or questions, don't hesitate to type it on the comment section. What is statistics and probability? Statistics is defined as the collection, organization, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of data. While probability is the branch of mathematics concerning about the numerical description of how likely an event is occur. Just what I said, statistics is an important tool in determining data that can be used in explaining specific scenarios. In example, I have here a graph that shows the number of new cases of COVID-19 here in the Philippines since March 15. As you can see, based on the data collected, only few people were added on a daily basis from March 15 to March 25, but it started to grow fast on the last week of March. Based on the statement given by the Department of Health, it is simply because of availability of testing kit and other laboratories that can help on examining the virus. There is other information available online about the status of COVID-19 in the Philippines, and statistics play a vital role on those information. The unit 1 of this course is about random variable and probability distribution. We will divide this unit into three parts, and we will discuss the part 1 on this video, which is about random variable. But before we go to the topic, let us know first the content standard of this unit written on the curriculum guide given by the Department of Education. It says here that the learner must demonstrate understanding of key concepts of random variables and probability distribution. Now, these are the learning competencies students must achieve at the end of this lesson. First, the learner must illustrate a random variable followed by distinguishing between a discrete and continuous random variable. Lastly, the learner will know how to find the possible values of a random variable. For us to start to this topic, there are key terms students must know to have a better understanding. First, statistics. Next is probability. We already had definition about it earlier. Followed by experiment. This refers to any procedure that can be infinitely repeated and has well-defined set of possible outcomes. Then random, which any proceeding made or occurring without definite aim, reason, or pattern. And variable, that refers to any characteristic or quantity that can be measured or counted. And the last two is the word discrete and continuous we will discuss these two farther later on. Let us now focus on random variable. So what is random variable? I have here two definitions for random variable. First, a random variable is a set of possible values from a random experiment. Take note that a set of possible values contains two or more possible outcomes that can occur on one experiment. If those a coin, there are two possible outcomes, head and tail. So on this experiment, the set of possible outcomes is given set space is equivalent to head, tail. Another definition of random variable is the result of a chance event that you can measure or count. In a football game, before the game starts, the captain of both teams will choose either head or tail. The team that wins 
the dust decides which goal it will attack in the first half of the match. So the probability for any of the two team captains will win is 50% and their fate depends on the two possible outcomes. So here are examples that shows random variable in order for us to understand it better. First picture shows two dice. Drawing it gives you different result. The pips on the dice is a random variable. By the way, pip is the term used on the dots on each face of the dice. Second picture shows card from a deck of cards. This is a common example used in discussing probability. Random variable here might differ depending on the nature of the question. It can be by its color, red or black, by the number written on it, or by the type of card. Club, spade, heart, and diamond. Another example of chance event that will show us random variable in casino. It is casino roulette. The random variable here also depends on where you bet. It can be any single number from 1 to 36. It can be by colors, whether a number is odd or even, or if the resulting outcome is high, which is from 19 to 36, or low from 1 to 18. In other cases, since result is not written numerically, we can use number in representing outcomes. Shown in the picture is tossing a coin. Since the outcome might be head or tail, we can represent either side with a number. The most commonly used representation from this is 0 and 1. The outcomes are considered the random variable. Let us assume that two coins are tossed and the set of possible outcomes is the set S. It's equivalent to head, 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 tail, tail, head, tail, tail. Suppose that X represents a number of heads and with each sample point, we can associate a number X as shown in the table. So here's the table that shows the possible outcomes of tossing a coin. The first column shows the possible outcome. Second is X, which shows the number of heads on each outcome. And the last column is P of X, shows the probability occurrence of each outcome. Why is the probability occurrence on each outcome is one part? Simply because there are four possible outcomes that might occur when you toss two coins. Then, as you notice, each outcome might occur only one. Following the formula for the probability, which was already discussed to you in junior high school years, probability occurrence is the ratio between the favorable outcome, one, on each outcome, and the total possible outcomes, four, is total outcomes. So we will have one is to four, or one fourth. So let's have a sample problem involving random variables. Here's the situation. In tossing a fair coin three times, what are the possible outcomes that two heads will fall and its probability? We have here the table that shows the possible outcomes when you toss a coin three times. As you can see, there are eight possible outcomes that might occur. Out of these outcomes, only three has two heads. Head, head, tail, head, tail, head, and tail, head, head. Hence, the probability of its occurring is three out of eight, or simply three over eight. Another example problem involving random variable is as follows. In throwing two dice at a time, what will be the probability of having similar number on both dice? Since a dice has six possible outcomes, 
drawing two of it at the same time will give us 36 possible outcomes. Why it become 36 possible outcomes? Six possible outcomes from the first dice multiplied by another six possible outcomes from the second yields 36 possible outcomes. And out of 36 possible outcomes, only six will have similar number. So, we will have six out of 36. It's equivalent to one over six, or one out of six. Let us now discuss these two types. The two types of random variable are discrete and continuous random variable. Discrete random variable refers to a random variable which takes only limited or countable number of values. So the keyword here is limited and countable. In example, tossing a coin will give us two possible outcomes. Thus, making it an example of discrete random variable. Another example is the score you got in statistics and probability test. Since the test has a limited number of items, so is your score. Another type of random variable is continuous random variable. And it refers to any value between certain intervals. Example for this is the temperature of a patient in a particular clinic lies between 37 to 40 degrees Celsius. Since it lies between an interval, it is considered as continuous random variable. Another example of continuous random variable is the distance you travel from your house to school. To make it simpler, we can say discrete random variable it is finite and has exact values while continuous random variable is defined as infinite or have lots of possible values to consider. Another difference is discrete random variable is countable while continuous random variable is measurable. Thank you for listening.